and welcome to the One Up Gaming YouTube channel thing. Me, David here. I'm gonna quick talk about the worst games ever series. And um, this week we have Argonaut Croc. And people might know, might not know, Argonaut were the developers, coders, engineers. Who basically made Star Fox or Star Wing, wherever you are in the world? And I'd have a guess, it's also common knowledge that Croc started off life as a 3D platformer that they were shown to Nintendo that was going to be a Yoshi, 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 Yoshi sort of game. So that's why the Croc kind of looks like the little dinosaur though, from Yoshi. Um, and I mean like technically speaking this is only here because of one like it's only on this list because of one feature and one main problem with the game and that is because it was developed a year too early. If this game was developed uh, six months, eight months, a little bit later, then this game could have been amazingly good. I mean, for a PS1 sort of game, it looks really good for graphically. Uh, everything flows well, looks nice. Um, the characters are all nice, it's all nicely done. I'm gonna have done well. The story, uh, it's a platform of what you expect. But, yeah, I'll, I'll wait and tell you the main problem I've got with this game once we get into the actual game itself. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Monday we do the Evercade series. Tuesday we're doing the Star Trek Online series. Wednesday is the Worst Games Ever series. Thursday is Ridge Racer 6. And Friday's when we're doing our YouTube. And then we'll mix in a load of um, Let's Plays as we sort of like going through the some of the games so I'll mention it now see if anyone's noticed but the biggest problem I have with this game is the controls the character movement that all shenanigans now if this game was created a few months later when developers would have seen how Nintendo were making the like, um, Super Mario 64 with full direct control of movement of your character with the 3D analog stick. But I'd have a guess this sort of like started off life a little bit too early. And what we have here is what I would consider a Tomb Raider style control mechanic, a Resident Evil style control mechanic, whereas you don't have direct control of your... Wait, you have direct control, it's just... it's tank controls, there we go, that's what I was trying to get to. You walk forwards, you walk backwards, and when you turn, he sort of like shuffles left and right. And don't get me wrong, I could probably get used to it, and when this came out, it might not have been such a big issue. But going back to some of these older games now, it just amplifies those problems. Because it's like, there's a lot of like, jump puzzles in this sort of game. And 
yeah, it's just... Oh, I'll get pissed off with this. It's just so, <laughs> so annoying. And it's also you have also the same issue that I had with a lot of platformers of the PS1 era. Whereas you press the jump button and 9 times out of 10 it will work, but then there's that one time where it just doesn't and you drop off the ledge. But it's just also annoying how we, it's, to me it's not a fast, smooth experience when you're trying to face the way you want to go and run. But yeah, so that is why this game is in my worst games ever series. If they'd have waited and created like a very similar sort of controls to what Mario 64 had, then this could have been an amazing game. But unfortunately, like all developers and publishers at this time, they all wanted to get their games out before Nintendo and hopefully sell well and make amazing games. And there is several Croc sequels, there was Croc 2, there was the Croc games for the Game Boy Color for the Game Boy Advance I think it was, or was it just Game Boy Color, I can't remember. But they were more like standard platformer sort of games. So as always, thank you all for watching. It's been me, David, One Up Gaming, um, Croc, Legend of the Is it Legend of the Gobbles? I can't even remember the hell it was called now. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll let this play out for a little bit longer, and then I will end it, and that will do. So thank you all. Goodbye. Once I'm famous, the best that's what our aim is. All platforms, what your game is. To the leaderboards, I'm coming. See me in a shooter, I can promise I'll be gunning. When I hit the music, I swear I'm gonna run it. Can't say one up, you can try, but we done it. Let's go. Alright, let's go. To the best place for reviews, I know. Xbox One and PS4, we you as far as consoles go. They do handheld PCs, merchandise for you and me. Contests that you gotta do, the prizes are for gamers who. <laughs> going hard all day, we believe the boys cause you're just that great. Can't lose as much as they you're a certified badass when you play I bang with one up gaming I bang with one up gaming I bang with one up gaming Drop more hits once I'm famous The best that's what I aim is